Good morning. My name is uh, Francesco Memoli, and today I will talk about the Tenova path to climate neutral steel production. Tenova is uh, recognized as a supplier to the iron and steel industry with the most sustainable technologies portfolio. Tenova's process equipment allows, in fact, the highest cut of CO2 emissions of the steel industry. It's always important to refer to the actual numbers and facts when we talk about greenhouse gases. As a matter of fact, carbon dioxide only represents a part of the total greenhouse gases emissions, about 75%, and only 65% is proceeding from combustion of fossil fuels and from the industrial processes. This portion is the largest fraction of the total emissions, so in this presentation we are going to dig deeper on that and uh, which solutions are available to our industry. If we look at the emissions breakdown, we see that the iron and steel industry is approximately the 20th part of the total CO2 human-made emissions. That is a high amount of emissions considering that it is almost half of the total emissions generated by all the cars of the planet or a fifth of the emissions generated by power plants. The journal Science, in an article of 2018, using that of 2015, listed the emissions from the iron and steel sector as difficult to eliminate. Fortunately, we can now say that technology has made incredible improvements, and that statement is no longer true. As per the latest data of the International Energy Agency, the iron and steel industry is responsible for about 7% of the world's CO2 emissions, with a total of 2.6 billion tons of CO2 generated as a result of the production of 1.87 billion tons of crude steel. That means 1.4 tons of CO2 per ton of crude steel. But producing iron and steel can be done through different routes, and these routes come at different CO2 intensity, as reported in this table, summarizing data from very respected institutions. It is common knowledge that the blast furnace route is the most emission-intensive route, with more than 2 tons of CO2 per ton of crude steel, while the scrap-based EAF route has an average of 0.34 tons of CO2 per ton of crude steel, and the DRI EAF route has 1.4. So, while the integrated steel route accounts for 72% of the total world steel production, it is responsible for more than 90% of its carbon emissions. Let's see how new technologies can help in reducing this footprint, starting from that small portion of emissions produced through the EIF route. Today, adopting the Constil technology for the continuous charge of scrap into the electric furnace, we have proven that we can reduce the emission intensity down to 250 kilos of CO2 per ton of liquid steel. So this is the benchmark technology for EIF sustainability. And this is possible in small and big plants. As a matter of fact, that is the same technology just adopted by the largest EAF plant in the world. This past September, the new Arvedi melt shop has started up. And it started up with the most productive EAF ever made in the world. It is a Tenova con steel that will produce 3 million tons a year. But steel production can be based only on scrap. Certain steel products require virgin iron units because the concentration of trap elements in scrap is continuously increasing. As we have seen, virgin iron units are today mainly transformed through the integrated steel route. And with that, an extremely large carbon footprint is generated. This is not the same everywhere in the world. In certain areas uh, like uh, certain countries of Europe and uh, the entire North America, the emission intensity of the steel industry is very limited, already 40% below the world average. The reason is because in these sustainable steel regions, the electricity generation by renewable energy is already important and uh, the amount of electric car furnaces outnumbers the integrated steel plants. So, a first way to seriously tackle the emissions of the integrated steel plants wherever natural gas is available, is the adoption of the direct reduction route. It's an immediate solution, as we can see from this bar graph, switching from the integrated steel plant to a plant using direct reduction. In particular, the Energiron technology immediately allows reaching the emission targets defined by the Paris Agreement for 2030. The Energiron direct reduction technology can cut in half the emission of an integrated steel plant using 100% of natural gas. 
and uh, it selectively recovers an important portion of the residual carbon dioxide produced. So the actual CO2 emissions in the atmosphere are really cut to a small fraction. The energy iron process is also the best direct reduction solution when green hydrogen is available because it can receive it without any equipment upgrade or modification. Natural gas can be mixed with hydrogen or entirely replaced by hydrogen in the energy iron module. Consequently, the carbon intensity of the energy iron route would go as low as 0.6 tons of CO2 per ton of crude steel using natural gas. This is why the Russian steelmaker OMK has just decided the adoption of the energy iron technology to produce 2.5 million tons per year of top quality DRI. With this process, they will be reducing by more than 60% their carbon dioxide emissions. As we were saying, when green hydrogen is available, carbon emissions can really be reduced to the minimum or completely eliminated. This is the case of the hybrid project, which is under development in the city of Lulea, Sweden, that uh, will see the first fossil free steel plant. The hybrid project is uh, right on track and the direct reduction module provided by Tenova is currently in its cold and hot test commissioning phase. With this plant, Tenova and hybrid will soon prove that the production of steel with no CO2 emissions is real. And talking about hydrogen, I am glad to announce that uh, Tenova has recently signed a contract for the supply of the first ever gas-based direct reduction plant in China. This will be an energy iron plant for the production of 550,000 tons of top quality DRI and it will use 70% hydrogen in the makeup gas, reaching an emission intensity as low as the best EAF plant in the world. The startup of this plant is foreseen for the second half of 2022. But how to tackle the issue of emission intensity of the rest of the iron making install base? To give a solution to this issue, Tenova has designed a technological solution that will allow a quick transition to a sustainable footprint for the iron making sector. This is possible without changing the entire industrial setup of the existing integrated steel plants, which can maintain, for instance, the same supply chain for what concerns their iron ore. Tenova has so reinvented iron making. The new integrated steel plants will not have a blast furnace anymore. It will be replaced with an energy iron module integrated downstream with an open slag bath furnace or OSBF. Such integrated setup of industrially proven technologies will allow the production of hot metal of the same chemistry needed by a conventional BOF. So instead of using coal, this reinvented integrated iron making process is gas and electricity based. So to produce hot metal, we no longer need a coal based blast furnace. We can really reduce the CO2 intensity for iron making to an extremely small number, basically to the same level where a conventional EAF process is. Tenova has already started to implement this reinvented integrated iron making technology. The first project to see the light has been announced by the company Petmin USA, which is installing a plant in Ashtabula, Ohio for the production of pig iron. We're also glad to announce that a second project is underway in Port Saguenay, Quebec. The company Blackrock Metals will build the greenest pig iron plant of the world producing high purity pig iron alongside vanadium and titanium oxide from VTM ores. The emission intensity of this plant will be as low as 0.6 tons of CO2 per ton of metal using the available natural gas while the equipment is already designed to receive green hydrogen when it will be available in the region. And we like to close this presentation mentioning that this reinvented integrated iron making process is now part of a good number of well advanced feasibility studies by traditional steelmakers in Europe and in Asia.
Steelmakers can now replace their blast furnaces with the reinvented integrated iron making route, feeding their existing BOF shops with sustainable hot metal, cutting more than half of their carbon footprint. Here at Tanova, we're proud to be at the forefront of sustainability, making available a portfolio of technologies that enables the largest cut of carbon dioxide emissions in the iron and steel industry. Thank you.